you first turn on your iPod Touch or iPhone, the picture that you see is called the wallpaper. You might like to change that picture. If you have an iPhone, you could take a photo with the camera and use that, but on the iPod Touch it can be a little more tricky. I'm going to show you how to make that change. First go to the settings screens on the iPod and call up the general settings. In the general settings you need to call up the wallpaper. You may very well have only one folder and that's a wallpaper folder. That folder contains all the photos that Apple just gives you for use on your iPod. That contains the blue marble image of the earth and a whole lot of others. If you'd like to you can just choose one of them by selecting it, tap it and that will set that particular image as the wallpaper that you'll see next time you turn on your iPod. Another possibility though is to save an image from an application that you might have on your iPod. For example, I quite like a little free application called Zooborns, showing the newest and cutest exotic animal babies from zoos and aquariums around the world. There was a recent picture in here that I quite liked. It was a picture of a baby rhinoceros. I find the picture that I want and tap the arrow at the top right corner. That brings up a menu and I can choose to save the image to the photos on my iPod. It shows me the picture I've chosen at full size and then tells me it's saving the image. After a moment or two, once it's done that, I can go back to the settings, the general settings, wallpaper, and look this time in the saved photos folder. Here you can see all the screenshots I made while making this movie. I select the photo and it gives me the opportunity to move it and scale it, choosing exactly the part that I want to see when I turn on my iPod. I've done that, so now I click the set button and that sets that picture to be the startup screen wallpaper on my iPod in future. In a moment or two, I'll turn off my iPod and turn it on again and here you are, you can see the new photo. So change the wallpaper to suit yourself, have a bit of fun with it, play around, maybe get some of your own photos onto the iPod Touch by connecting it to your computer.